Alright, when you're cooking, like we're cooking a pizza right now, this is a green bell pepper, you can see, you know, green bell pepper. Here's the seeds. So we're going to end up saving these seeds and drying them out. You can do with the green ones, the red ones, the yellow ones, orange ones, purple ones, all the different bell peppers. Dry them out and we'll package them away and come next spring we'll plant them in our garden and grow our own bell peppers. That way they can be organic and pesticide free unlike you don't know what you're getting in the stores anymore and you don't even know what country this stuff's grown in. So by that you don't know about its water that it was used, the dirt, anything. It's pretty scary nowadays where everything comes from. So yep. you just dry these out and then you take them and you just basically you can just scratch the seeds off just like that. Put it on a miniature Same. planter? Just like, just like yeah, yeah, just knock a big chunk off with my thumb. Then you just dry those seeds out. Put them in your little container. And there you go. Okay, just so you know, after your your seeds dry out, you put them up. Excuse me, until spring. <laughs> Loosen your soil. You know, turn it over, rototill it, whatever you do to get your garden ready. And then just lightly. Put a little layer of dirt over those, less than a quarter inch of dirt, you know, like maybe an eighth inch to a quarter inch, and then water them in. Thin the seeds as as every, all, everything starts growing up. If they're really close together, pull a seed out or a couple seeds out so your plants are farther apart. Yeah. Bada bing, bada bang, you'd be on your way of growing. Well, that is if you plant it in the ground. Well, of course, you be planted in the ground. As I said, you get your garden ready, you rototill it, or turn it over by dirt. Oh, yeah. If you're going to plant it into a pot, then it's the same thing. You get your pot ready with its soil, and you put it on, and just put a light little layer of dirt over the top, and water it in. God, you got the puppy excited. She she says, "Oh, I smell pizza cooking. I smell pizza." But I can't have any pizza because it has mushrooms and mushrooms are poisonous to me. Dad, did you keep me a piece of salami? <laughs> mm. Snot, snot. Salami, bologna. What was that, snout? <laughs> she said, I'm ready to do some gardening, Mom. Let's go dig up the garden. It's dig up the garden. Dig the gardening up. is over. No, it's... Right now is a season to get your uh, your cool weather plants in. Why are you excited, dog? She thinks that she's gonna get something to eat. I guess I'll get her a milk bone. Milk bones, milk bones. She loves them little milk bones. Milk bones, milk bones. Dougie. Oh. I was opening up the screen door. She just went running on out. All right, so there's Not that asking. green bell pepper here, and let it dry.
All right, well, here's a couple little bell pepper plants that we planted earlier this year. After they got a, a couple leaves high, sets of leaves high, we planted them into this bigger pot. And then it just never got any bigger. But usually you just, you would go from one pot to a bigger pot, or you could plant directly into the ground. We don't have the best ground here. So. so from the tea pot from a, a peat pot, a peat pot. Peat pot? Yeah, it's peat moss that's in a net they're usually compressed and you put you soak it in water and they grow mm -hmm. we've used those for starting seeds or any little starter seed starter thing that you use you can make little greenhouses out of plastic containers that you buy strawberries in or grapes and use those for starting seeds so and you then, start them a little earlier in the year and then move them outside as the weather changes when do you transplant after the well from a seed lean you wait till there's a couple layers of leaves before you transplant. On these, they probably should have, this should have been transplanted right about at this size. They should be split up and put into a bigger pot. But it's almost the end of the season this year, so yeah, just not gonna, very worry, small. not gonna worry about it. They were really stunned. It was just so hot this year that it, it burnt. Almost every any time it grew a piece of fruit, it, the fruit just got burnt because the sun's so intense anymore. Not only do you have to put sunscreen 50 on yourself, you almost have to put sunscreen 50 on your vegetables. <laughs> so I think next year we're going to have to uh, get some sunshade material that filters out a certain percentage of the sun. So we don't burn a lot of our plants because I noticed this year a lot of plants that had in like shadier spots last year were trying to move out for full sun this year being that you know they said that they should have full sun mm -hmm. that our sun is just it's too intense anymore so best thing to do is get some sunshade so they can still get their six 10, 12 hours of sunlight, but just not so intense anymore. More like a morning sun would be instead of an afternoon sun. That's it.